In this video, we're going to show you how to manipulate some text for your situation. Now, as you know, we've been working with a little angry um, faced cartoon. So uh, basically, mine's going to be show me angry face is going to be on the um, T-shirt. So uh, on this uh, first layer here, I've got a few separate things. I've got the word show me, show and me two separate items, and I've got an angry face down here. Now, show, what I'm going to do is get show and me to be um, outlines. So I'm going to right click on it and say create outlines. Now I have outlines, no problem. Let's do some formatting within this particular design. I'm going to um, pull up one of my graphic styles here. This is a gradient, radial gradient. and I'm also going to take these and probably provide some other styling. So I've got a group here under my appearance panel, and sometimes it's important to watch this. Okay, I'm going to see if I can uh, add a uh, stroke to this. So we're going to add a stroke, and it's going to be orange. And I'm going to see if I can make that show up. So you can see how that's coming up behind it. Well, actually, it's overtaking the letters. How do I get it to go behind it? Well. You drag that underneath the fill. So the fill's on top of it. So you can have a stroke behind a fill, if you will. So let's take a look at that closely here. All right. So the stroke's behind the fill. So you can see how that works. Um, you might get these weird issues like this little line here. Um, that can happen. Uh, let's see. I'm going to add a, another stroke. Oh, wait. Nothing changed. So because I didn't click on my item. So make sure you're always selecting your object. Add another line. And we're going to add a brown. Yeah. And this one here, I'm going to put behind here. And I'm going to make it even bigger. So it's like that. All right. Now, uh, in this case, I'm getting a couple issues here. You can see how this is jumping up. I'm going to see if I can move me down a little bit here. Let's move it down. Right. And um, we'll go ahead and see if I can make this have yet another stroke. And we'll put it down below the brown. And this one here is going to be, how about a darker brown? And it's going to get even bigger. So that's a pretty interesting style here. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to um, see if we can make this work here. All right, so uh, depending on if you wanted to get rid of something like this, you might have to work with the individual shapes. So you can see that I'm getting a, a weird little line. I'm okay with this line. I'm going to keep it. But uh, if you didn't want it, okay, I'm going to just show you how you could probably get rid of it. All right, so what you'd want to do is first keep this style here. So I'm going to add my graphic style so I have that graphic style saved. And now that I have the graphic style saved, I'm going to go ahead and object expand appearance. And I'm going to do that again. Object expand. So you can kind of see what that did there. OK. So now I have sections here. I'm going to ungroup them. And ungroup so that if you think about it, I can select this one little area if I wanted. OK. So because I have that ungrouped, I could then go in and start to erase some of this. You can kind of see how that's working. Yeah, so you need to remember that the eraser tool works on what's selected, so it's going to only only erase that brown there. So obviously I have some issues over here and that I'd have to, you know, finish this area out or, or fix this up. Let's see, I might have to go inside it, and uh, you know I could I could work with that individual shape um, by just clicking inside until I get to the point where I'm on the path. And uh, let's just erase that. And then so you can see how, that's, how that works. And then if you wanted to um, maybe add a section to that, I could go like this. 
and draw that shape. And then because I could select, oops, select two shapes at once, I could merge them together using the shape builder tool and go back out. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a hassle. I mean, if that type of stuff happens to you, um, Sometimes, you know, just let it go. And like in my case, I, I like the way it ended up being. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and just kind of show you how you would fix that. All right. So I've got show and uh, I need to do show now, don't I? So we'll do show. We'll make it that style. All right. So I've got show and me. All right. Show. Show me. Let's see. Maybe make this down. I'll make it line up. It's kind of hard to tell where it's going to line up. You have to. Use your arrow keys to get in the right spot. Show like that. We'll do like that. Show me. All right. And then let's figure out how we can do angry face here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this off a little bit here. Let's see. Move this out of the way. All right. And we'll start working with angry face. Now, uh, I want to change angry face to capitals. And so I'm going to go ahead and do angry face. All right, so it's all capitals. Great. And then I'm going to do the create outlines again. Now, in this case, I want to do some drawing to affect this. So I'm going to go to one of my distortion tools. Okay. And I want to get it to the right size. So I'm going to make it smaller here. Let's see. Let's make it about uh, 20 point. And I'm going to put the pressure up all the way. And let's see how that does. So I'm going to grab the top of this A. Let me get it here. I'm going to try to see if I can do this all in one stroke. That's okay. I'm going to try it again. Not too far. Let's do it again. I like that a little bit. Maybe one more time. I just want to make it a nice smooth curve. It's hard to, to write that sometimes. Oh, my, that's it. That's it right there. And then um, I'm going to take this Y. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to take the Y. I'm going to do the same thing. Too far. Let's see. I'm just undoing whenever I do this here. I just can't seem to get that to go. I wonder if I change my setting and accidentally. No, I'm good. Let's see. We'll just. Yeah. Have to pull that some more or something. Let's see. It's all about just kind of practicing until you get the stroke. So I might practice the stroke a few times and then see if I can pull it. I just want to pull the top. There we go. And I like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take the E out and the F down. Oop. And, you know, I think maybe I'll take the N up here. And what I want to do on this one is I'm going to go ahead and do a twirl on it. So I'm going to enlarge this to about 80 point. I'm going to turn the pressure way down to 10. And I'm going to tap an alt. No, nope, let's do, yeah, just make it kind of grow around. Mm. Ooh, nice. I like that. Okay. Okay, that's enough line work. I could obviously keep going if I wanted to and, and do more of the letters. Okay, and uh, once you get all those in place like that, I'm then going to apply a um, one of these graphic styles. Now, this graphic style here didn't work the first time. You see, I clicked it, and it didn't make any change. It says I'm on it, but it's not working. So I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to check something. I'm going to ungroup this. And now let's see what happens if I take that. Now it's working through. Now, what I want to do is add some stuff to this. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is add a stroke down here at the bottom. Add a stroke uh, like this. And we're going to make it be a uh, dark brown. And we're going to make it fat. So you can see how that would look. Okay, if I put it underneath, it looks a little different. So you can see how that's going. If that's all you, you like, that's fine. Um, I'm going to change it, though. Instead of doing a traditional a traditional stroke for it, let's see if I can change it change its 
style. Um, let's see. Let's go with a different style. I'm going to bring in one of my other brushes. So you can kind of see how, how that would change uh, the look. And um, you can also edit these strokes. Like right now, it's going one way. I can um, change a lot of the options for that. I can make it go the other way. Um, so you can kind of see what it does. Um, anyway, and uh, then it'll apply to the strokes if you want it. Um, so it'll do a different thing. Uh, just play around with those. I, I honestly, I think I've figured it out here and I've got it already saved here. Um, but just play with adding strokes. And remember, the order matters, okay? So you want to have some things that are below and some things that are above. I'm going to add um, another stroke. Um, and that bottom stroke here, I'm going to make it be a different style stroke. Let's see. Maybe splatters. Oh, wait. I got forgot. Got to select. Okay. So go ahead and duplicate that one and put it into splatters. Let's see. Ooh, neat. Okay. And I'm going to make it be smaller. All right. And we're going to make it be grayer. All right. So it's kind of like you're putting several together. So, all right. So I got show me angry face and we'll take all those, put them over and then let's go get our angry face. So we'll Open recent. Let's get um, cartoonized head seven. That should be the last one. Yeah, and let's get that dude. We'll just copy that whole dude. And I'll just take him over here and we'll paste him, shrink him down, and put him there. All right, let's see. So now it's just a matter of arranging those items for my t-shirt. And I'm going to do that on the uh, t-shirt design template. So you can see that in the blank shirt file in your DM dailies. Have fun with these letters.